Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're we'll gonna be doing over the Abyss of Legends Rewards Theory video. Okay, so Kabam has confirmed it. January, I think, fifteenth. I could be wrong on that. There should be releasing the Abyss of Legends, and this is like crazy news because at the beginning of the game we had Realm of Legends, and then like a few years ago, two or three, I forgot how many years ago, we got Labyrinth. It could be four years. I don't, know. I don't think it's four. I think it was like two or three years. I literally don't remember, but it was a while ago. It's been a decent amount of time, and now a few years later, the Abyss of Legends is coming out, and I made some guesses of what the rewards are gonna be. Right here, they're in white ink, so I can go over them one by time, uh, uncover them one by time, just so you can see it same time as me. I'm gonna explain why. So first, let's just go over Realm of Legends. This is like right when the game came out. This is pretty decent rewards. Uh, we got a four star Cyclops, four star Rhino, four star Ronan, all kind of trash. But the three tier four basics allowed you to rank four, like one of your first few characters. Um, it was pretty good at the time, but now it's like you literally like these rewards are so like you play the game for like a week, you've already have like a rank four four star at this point. Then the Labyrinth rolled around. I recently 100% in Labyrinth because I got an Aegon. I didn't do it until I got Aegon because I was like, I'm not going to spend money on this. Or, or like, there's a crap ton of units because it just wasn't worth it to me. And so, for completion, you got 20,000 five star shards, which at the time was really good. But the stuff that was crazy was the t four tier two alpha. Okay. This was like the first stuff. Like, this was like the first time you could like rank. Um, four or five star and from act five hundred percent I believe I don't know but like this was like some of the first few weeks you get tier um, two alpha in the game now you get it a lot more commonly but you got a five star awakening gem crystal which was lovely you got and then you got two of every um, tier four CC catalyst which is eh, I think even at the time wasn't that good but it was yeah I could be wrong yeah it was decent it's just not really that needed most for most people Exploration, you got the five star Ultron Classic, which was ch um, Trophy Champ, you know. You got the 45,000 five star shards, which is like a crazy amount at the time, once again. Now it's like, eh, but you know, four or five stars or three featured, you know, it's not bad. Eight tier two alpha, this was like insanely good. Then with the five star awaken generic awakening gem, basic, you can use any class, that was like insanely good with the 100 five star six turn crystals. And then you got the three of every class, two, four, CC. Nah, not that big a deal. So, now we move on to the Abyss of Legends a few years later. And even though Kabam are... They don't... They don't really ever exceed our expectations. I think the difficulty gonna be for this is going to be so crazy that I do think the rewards could look like this. I could be way off. This is literally just a theory. This is just my guess what it could be. Oh, I can't. I want to see what the rewards are going to be so I can actually do a comparison to see like how close I was. So first, we can uncover the first one. Um, my guess is it's going to be just for the hell of it. They're going to throw out like fifty to seventy-five thousand five-star shards just for the completion. Because five-star shards at this point of the game, you know, if you're doing the abyss, you probably already have most five stars, and they're not. And you're starting to focus maybe a little bit on your six-star roster, like me. Like now, I have a rank two six-star ghost and Corvus. I'm starting to focus a little bit away from the five stars, but five stars are still very relevant. So I think just for the hell of it, they're gonna throw a big amount of five star shards in it. Next, I think twenty five thousand six star shards. I think for completion, completion of labyrinth is twenty thousand five. Star shards. I think that's gonna at this point of the game, six star shards are still hard to get. But they're not as hard as they were when they first came out. But I think for completions, I think they're gonna twenty five to thirty k is my guess for six star shards. Next. 12 tier 2 alpha they're gonna give a full inventory of tier 2 alpha just right off the bat but yeah i think 12 tier 2 alpha sounds i, I think it's gonna be like a big chunk of tier 2 alpha just for completion now here we get a little bit juicy stuff i think like in this one they're gonna be given a the awakening gem crystal we haven't seen any of these yet the only awakening gem crystal um the only six star awakening gem in the game has been like I think the first person to win Comic Con, I think, in like the tournament, which was a basic, but we haven't even seen an Awakening Gem Crystal yet, I don't think. But I think we're definitely going to see one of these for completion. Like, they didn't do it in, in 6.3, which a lot of people were expecting it was going to happen, and they didn't. So it's, I'm betting money there's going to be one for just the completion. And then finally for completion. Oh god, what the heck just said? So, this could be very wrong. 
But what I'm hoping to do is since they have two of every class of tier four CC, hopefully, so we can get some more rank three six stars roll in, they're gonna have one of every class of a tier five CC. So no more of these 25% or they're gonna give a few like 50 or 25% um, shard crystals. But they're gonna give a decent amount of tier five CC somehow from the completion I'm embedding. I'm betting they're gonna do that. Just once, one thing I forgot to mention for completion, I also think they're gonna give eight tier five basic. I forgot to mention that in the video, but eight tier five basic also in the completion. Now we move on to exploration. This is when it gets juicy. Like these rewards, uh, listen, even though Kabam has disappointed people a lot in the past, I do not think they're going to lowball these rewards. I think they're going to be very good exploration rewards. These rewards are going to be better than anything we've ever seen in the game by far. Better than 6.3. I don't know about all of X6, but it. I don't know. I don't know yet, but it's going to be juicy. Let's just say that. First, um, it's going to be one. like We got the 5-star Ultron Classic. I think it's going to be some cool 6-star unique character. Maybe like... I don't know who they would do, but I think we're going to get some kind of unique character for fun. Or the people that are doing the Legend Times are going to get like... The people doing Legend Times for this are just insane. Like, good luck to those guys. It's going to be hard. But they're probably going to do a Legends Time. And the people that do it, I salute to them. But that's going to be way too hard. Next, we got 50 to 60,000 six star shards. They're going to give us a nice chunk of six star shards for doing this. If they give... For the Labyrinth, they get 45,000. If they give less than 45,000 six-star shards, I'll be very surprised. I think they're going to give 50 to 60,000. I'll be surprised if they give more. But hopefully they do. That'd be cool. So that would be a nice chunk. Next. Okay, so this is where we get into, like, the rewards where we, like, we haven't even seen yet. So there's a screenshot. The world's first six-star rank three champion was starting spot. And you needed... A tier six basic to rank him up to rank four. Tier six basic, which I don't even know when we're gonna see. He's probably gonna be in this, honestly. And then we needed tier three alpha. Tier two alpha was insane when it came out. I never thought it would go past tier one when I started playing this game, but I wasn't really thinking too far in the future, honestly. But I think where they're gonna give us four. Could be more, could be less, but you need three to rank for a champion and I think they're gonna go four for fully exploration next this is gonna be the big pop boy six star generic awakening gem this thing is one I can I can't confirm anything that's gonna be on this list but if I can confirm one thing I know for a fact there is no way they would not put a six star generic awakening gem for a hundred percent in the abyss of legends there is going to be some form of six star awakening gem and I'm if it's not generic for 100%, I will be so shocked. It, the chances that it's not a generic for 100% would be close to zero. Next, we just got the um, 100 six star, uh, like they did the 105 six star, 105 star six star. I think there's just gonna be like 100 or maybe like 150 six star six star crystals just to throw in there. Next, this could pray. Like the completion, we got one of every class. Hopefully, we get two or maybe three of every class of tier five CC. So more and more people. This is exploration at this point. The tier tier um, rank three six stars are going to be available if you're going to be exploring it. If you're exploring Abyss of Legends, there's going to be good rewards for rank three and some six stars. And then finally, this could be very much a long shot, but I'm hoping for fully. Because there's going to be 6 star rank 3s. I'm hoping that they will put at least 1, hopefully, I would say 2 to 3 maybe, tier 6 basics. So people can rank 4 a 6 star. The power level on a rank 4 6 star would be dis like nuts. It would be just stupidly OP. Like, I want to see that level. I do think 100% in Abyss of Legends is going to elevate it's gonna give a lot of people the ability to rank three six stars but i do think 100 percent you're gonna be guaranteed at least one hopefully of a tier six basic catalyst you need three to rank four character 
So rank four or six star, you need three tier six basics. Not one, not two, but three. I think they're at least going to give two or two, one to two six star basics. Probably three, but kabam. They don't always meet expectations, and they don't always pass expectations. But I am. I don't want to say confident, but this they're probably gonna put for the Abyss of Legends is gonna be so ridiculously difficult that like guaranteed you're gonna be able to like after doing this you're gonna be able to rank three a whole bunch of six stars I think you're going to be able to awaken them, but will you be able to take them to rank four? That's the question. I hope it's yes. If you can see three, three, let's just, you know what? Let's take this out. Three tier six basics for 100%. You can take up after 100% of this, one of your favorite six star champions to rank four. Just one. That seems balanced to me. For the amount of difficulty this is going to have, I, I would. The rewards are going to be crazy. I, um,. And how many days? Three, like 18 ish days from when I'm recording this. You guys might not see this video for a few days after I record it. But if in a 15, 18 days, depending on when you see this video, I don't know. <laughs> when Abyss comes, I want to look at the rewards and compare my guess to theirs to see how close I was. Um, but yeah, this is my guess. Probably three tier six. So you can. I mean, that would seem fair. You rank three or a few of your favorite six stars, and then you can take one out of your entire roster to rank four and just be the big, girthy boy that he deserves to be. Or she. If you have a ghost, you're probably going to be taking her up. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Write down in the comments um, what you think. Are you, are you, do you think they're, you're going to be able to rank four or six stars at the end of this? Or only rank three is the ceiling for now? Because a few people have already ranked three, but... At 100% as best, do you think in the comments, yes or no, we'll be able, we'll be seeing rank four, six stars, and eventually rank five, but rank five won't be coming around for like a long time. Like I wouldn't, I think by looking at the screenshot for the uh, for rank four, you need um, tier three alpha catalyst and tier six basic. For rank five, I'm assuming you're gonna need tier six cas uh, class catalyst and I don't see them putting rank five worthy stuff for six stars and abyss. That just seems too much. That's why I'm gonna be like act seven and other ridiculous content. We won't be stealing those for a while, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We get a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.